Hello and welcome to another edition of Zog Science. Today we're going to be talking about acids and bases and buffers. So, um, basically where acids and bases come from is the fact that water is really made up of two uh, separate entities. Um, we've got your hydronium, which is an H+, and we've got your uh, hydroxide, which is an OH-. And if you just have a glass of water, you actually don't only have your water molecules. Uh, you actually have a constant interaction uh, going back and forth between your water molecules and your, um, your hydroniums and hydroxide. So it actually is in balance. It's going back and forth between the two. Um, and when we talk about acids and bases, what makes something an acid or a base is whether or not it adds either your hydroniums or your hydroxides into the solution. Um, and so what, whatever, whatever you have, if it's an acid, it's going to be adding in hydroniums, and if it's a base, it's going to be adding in your hydroxides. And the way that we measure this is what we use the pH scale. And the pH scale uh, generally goes from 0 to 14. Um, you can have things that are slightly less than that, um, but we're, we will mostly just be dealing with the uh, 0 to 14 uh, side of things. Okay. And uh, another word for base is alkaline. So, so this is the same thing as saying that we have a base, something that's basic. Something that's, uh, alkaline means basic. Um, and then again, you've got your ac acids over here on the bottom. Uh, so seven would be pure water. That's completely neutral. Um, and that is, again, again, you've, you've got this interaction, but you've got, for every hydronium, you've got one hydroxide. So overall, they balance each other out. Um, and then as you go down the pH scale, you'll be adding in more and more hydronium, hydronium uh, ions. And so that would be increasing or decreasing your pH and then as you add more and more hydroxide ions you're now becoming more and more basic and if you notice right here the pH scale right that H it's a measurement of the hydronium concentration so really the pH scale is a is a, a measurement of how many hydronium ions you have so as you have more and more hydronium ions it decreases the pH scale and as you increase I'm sorry and as you, as you increase the, the number of hydronium ions, it incre decreases the pH scale. And then as you get less and less of them, it increases the pH scale. Um, and so just taking a look at sort of a, uh, a basic um, sort of what is going to happen when you have an acid. So here we've got hydrochloric acid. It consists of one um, hydrogen and one chlorine. They're bonded together, and when you place them into a solution or into water, it breaks these bonds apart. And remember, we talked about this before, how we've got our water molecules. Our water molecules are polar. Okay? So what happens is that the water molecules are going to be surrounding. They're going to surround these and pull them apart. Right? So, and then I can do the same thing over here. Okay, so my water molecules are going to be surrounding these and pulling them apart. And this hydrochloric acid, it's adding in more of my hydronium ions, my H plus ions. And so that's going to be decreasing my pH. If I take a look at the sodium hydroxide, the same thing would be happening with the water molecules. Okay, it's going to be pulling apart the sodium and the hydroxides, right? And that's going to give us an increase in our hydroxide concentration, which will in turn increase our pH. So that's just kind of the basic outline for how uh, acids and bases work. Now, in your body, okay, your body, if we look at, if we look back here at the pH scale, your blood is going to be right in here, okay. It's just slightly alkaline. And that's important because the enzymes in your body require a specific pH to work at. Um, your stomach acid is kept at a pH of around 2. So that would be right here, the gastric acid. Okay, That's kept at a pH around 2 because the, acid, the enzymes that are in your stomach that break down food require that low of pH. Um, but you don't want your blood to have that low of a pH because then the enzymes and proteins in your blood, they won't function properly. So what we have in order to, to be able to regulate those types of things are things called buffers. 
Okay, so buffers are going to regulate regulate oh geez regulate pH. Right, they regulate pH. So they are they are going to help maintain a stable pH in your body so that your enzymes can function properly, um, and that's that's incredibly important. Um, and we can have different buffers for different for different pHs. So in labs, we have created buffers for specific pHs, um, but for um, for uh, other uh, labs or you know or in your body or in you know specific environments, different buffers are gonna are gonna maintain different pHs. So in your in your blood, you're maintaining a slightly alkaline pH, um, and again in your stomach acid, you're having a very acidic pH. Alright, thanks uh, for watching and I'll see you next time.